Hey everybody, it's me again. But it's Hobbit Day. It's me and Kelly. Say hi, Kelly. And uh, we're gonna go see The Hobbit. It's been released today, the 14th of December. Pre-released elsewhere around the world. Where else was it? Uh, New Zealand uh, was the 28th of November. Uh, rough cut. And then today was the United States and here. Pretty excited to go see this movie after The Lord of the Rings and Peter Jackson. However, he's the seventh? Or they went through six, six, six others? Yeah. And he's the seventh director that they have? Yeah, Del Toro was the very last one before him. Yeah, so they, they've been working on this since 2009 they started? May 2010 is when Del Toro left and Peter Jackson came in. One thing I know for a fact I'm going to be pissed off about, and we've discussed this already, the fact that when the movie's over, the movie's not over. <laughs> I'm thankful they put it into three. Yeah. Yeah, it was originally two. And then they, when they started, they started principal photography in March of 2011. And when they finished, uh, or when they were half finished, um, they realized that it was just too much film to cut for two movies. For the storyline to make sense and for everyone to get the full experience, they cut it down to three. Like three movies, yeah. So I'm going to be bitching and complaining when this movie's over. But we'll talk about that when we'll, we'll, we'll bust a camera out and give a, a up to the minute critique on the movie as soon as it's done we're coming out of the theater there so we'll fast forward to that so here we go All right, so movie's over. First impression? I loved it. You loved it? I loved it. I don't think I liked it, to be honest. It, I don't know. I, it was a lot to look at on IMAX. Uh, we ended up sitting fairly close to the front, so it was a lot for the eyes to take in. My eyes are still adjusting back to normal. Do you think it kept to the story well? Oh, yeah. Definitely. Like the childhood theme. Oh yeah. Style. Oh, definitely. And there, there were specific characters. I mean, Gollum was one of the characters, aside from the, the fellowship that they have, uh, with the dwarfs going. There was a few other characters in the movie that I found, kind of ridiculous. Um, I don't really know how to explain it without giving away the bits of the story, but. Well. But, when it comes to The Hobbit, and something I always tell people when they read it or they watch a cartoon and now watching the movie, The so Hobbit was a kid's story. Lord of the Rings was for adults. But the dwarves are lighthearted. They're, that's their life, right? Well, they're playful and everything. Yeah. I get that, but just, like, there are scenes <laughs> in this movie that could have been spectacular. However, we're were presented in a come on you got to be serious kind of tone like really but in the lord of the rings middle earth was in what they would call like their dark ages they were in the midst of that whereas the hobbit is at the very beginning of their dark age and they talk about that a bit when they hit a certain place and there's certain characters the the 3d was well explain the 3d uh from where we were sitting you couldn't focus on the 3D. It was a little too... It was way too much to look at. way too much. It was like watching uh, <coughs> Transformers. The first movie, Transformers movie. There was just so much going on on the screen that it was impossible to yeah. keep track of what was going on. Yeah, there was just way too much. Yeah. So take this as a tip. If you're going to go see Lord of the Rings in 3D, sit a little further back. Preferably at the back row. Oh, I Did I say Lord of the Rings again? Yes. I've been doing that all night. I guess it's the first movie and everything like that, so yeah. I mean, it's to be expected they got to do character development and all that. The wars haven't even started. Well, the goblins were 
Well, I don't want to give any spoilers or anything away, but there's, there's goblins, okay? Right, there, I said it. Final score, out of 10? Uh, eight out of 10. Eight? Yeah. So Kelly gives an eight. I... I'll have to give it a seven. Might even have to go to a 6.5. It was a good movie. However, the, how do I put this? The, the feeling and the energy and the, the passion that I had going into a Lord of the Rings movie was not there for this one. It felt like just another movie to me. You know, they, they, do, do you get that sense at all? Right now, yeah. That it's just another movie. Like, right now, yeah. You could tell when. I could tell when it was coming. When the action scenes were coming, and you could tell when the well, music. I knew and, when they were coming. With the music and all that sort of stuff, yeah. like it's. It was very telegraphed. <laughs> it was a telegraphed movie, but from being as in depth of Lord of the Rings as I was, those things might have already been <clears throat> intrigent, if that's a word, into how I perceive the production of the movie. But we'll have to wait for the second or third one uh, <coughs> to really get a sense of the importance of this one. <laughs> I said it to the lady at the counter, I'm like, is there a light up for Lord of the Rings? I'm like, oh, it's a fucking hobbit. <laughs> anyway, that's that's our review. We're waiting for the bus to go home now. And we might have missed it because this movie got out really late. So they started late. They started late? Yeah, they started 10 minutes late. It was fast. Yeah. Bastards! I got a next video. I have a little something uh, that I want to. Uh, uh, how do I put this? Uh, my 500th video is coming up, um, and I want to do something special. So the next video I upload is going to be explaining what I want done with that video. So stay tuned for that one, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Stay strong, stay wise. Peace from the Hobbit. I'm going on an adventure. <laughs> Hey, if you enjoyed the video, why not hit that like button? Or why not even share it on your Facebook or Twitter? Or even subscribe if you please.